You guys all know first traps, right? You remember when they were sort of innocent, when it would just be someone biting their lips or flexing their abs? Why do people post this on TikTok as a first trap? And it feels like summer. I mean, who is even honestly watching this type of content? Oh, it nearly has 126,000 likes. The caption is also, which one do you take? To take where? To the bin? It nearly has 55,000 shares. I mean, who shares a video of three dudes humping a pool? All right, so team boys have let us down. What's team girls up to? If you're a weirdo and dip your fries in ranch, you're going to be shook. You're not going to believe what I found, and you got me messed up if you actually think I'm going to use this for chocolate. <laughs> yeah, what an absolute dumbass for thinking you are going to use this for chocolate. Yo, how dumb are you, you absolute donut, if you thought she was going to use this for chocolate? Because no, I literally had to put so much ranch, but also, why is it so satisfying going up the tube? It started working, and now I can and die happy knowing that this exists. Tag a friend who dips everything in ranch. Oh no! Gringe! I could literally feel my arteries just closing up watching that video. This is like peak definition of unhealthy. It's also just really unnecessary. Hey, do you want some ranch? Go dip it in my ranch fountain. I think I just got violated. Not by this guy's poor fashion taste, the absolute donkey. I mean, what is he wearing? But just the fact that I saw a guy just lick his finger and just play like that with a dishwasher. Like this dude <laughs> just fingered a dishwasher. <laughs> Put this man in exile, Jesus. <laughs> by the way, guys, if you're enjoying the video at any point, be sure to like and subscribe as it really helps me out. Let's just let's just get back to the cringe. Even the caption, point of view, when we get home, I'm gonna finger a dishwasher. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it. If you watch Andrew Tate, that's fine. I don't care. But if you unironically call yourself an alpha, you are cringe. Like this kid who considered himself an alpha over his teacher. Getting out of hands these days. I've had enough of this. This punishment stuff is going to stop. You're not gonna tell me what I'm gonna do, not do. I am now the alpha. Bro. That's not how this works. I am the teacher. The alpha takes priority over the teacher. The alpha takes priority over everything. Do you not know how that works? Looks like I'm gonna have to be a parent for you guys today, so listen up, kids. If you unironically refer to yourself as an alpha towards your teacher or anybody, you are cringe. The teacher is telling the alpha to sit in the seat right now. And the alpha doesn't have to listen to what it's okay. from its moment. Well, you don't have to listen, but the consequences that follow are going to still apply to the alpha. The alpha doesn't take punishment. Let's see how well that works out for you, okay? And I've said this before, I am not a doctor, and this kid does not represent any qualities that would be the definition of an alpha, of someone who is strong and powerful. He literally looks like he's one strong gust of wind away from ending up in China. We've actually got another similar video here. I actually don't know what's even going on, but check it out. <laughs> This dude is literally barking. I mean, what what is going on? Is, is am I am I just old and and I just don't see this anymore, or is this only happening in schools? <laughs> Can you guys comment down below if you ever actually see anything like this happening in schools? Because this is just insane. I I have no idea. What possesses anyone to do this? What's the most controversial opinion you have? Lolly hentai, it should be uh, very legal. Bruh. Because it's a freedom of expression, it helps people who are have those urges to go and dive into illustration rather than uh, messing with uh, actual children. Get this man a ticket to Garbage Island. What? what are you even saying? Like, I obviously know what you're saying, but what you're saying is incredibly stupid. People like this honestly need to take a hard look in the mirror and actually look and listen at what they're actually saying. 
Like, it's not only cringe, it's just straight up disturbing. That there's actually people out here advocating for this type of thing. You guys are going to have some thoughts on this one. So there's this content creator. I don't know his name, so we're just going to call him Donkey. He thought it would be a great idea to record himself helping homeless people in Los Angeles, California by ordering food for them and then eating it himself in front of them. Los Angeles, California has the third biggest homeless population in the United States. And today, it's my job to make sure there's one less hungry person on the streets. Hey, excuse me, sir. Hey, I was wondering, are you hungry by any chance, man? All right, man, I got you. Would you like a Baconator, fries, a drink? Is that cool? I was homeless myself, so I, I want to make sure you get on the right path. You know, you're always able to, you know, get back on your feet. You know, so I, just, I want you to enjoy this. Three things to note from this video. One, if you ever accidentally press emote before starting a video, start it over and do it again. Two, if you're gonna mess with someone, maybe find someone who ideally isn't homeless and literally smoking crack. And three, don't post this online or even do this in general as if you think everyone's going to take your side and praise you for helping the homeless population. Okay, so this next video, I, I honestly have no idea. I don't know who has time to do something like this? I don't know, Ben, unemployed people? Yeah, I mean, that does make sense because this woman wore these goggles that basically left her in darkness for like four days and then filmed her reaction as she saw the world again. I don't know. <sighs> I saw a comment on this and people were like, yeah, but blind people are going to be offended about this. <laughs> I just thought to myself, yeah, but they're not going to be able to see it though. <laughs> Yo, I'm not even joking. I need to pack like a survival pack for when I get cancelled. The thing is, videos like this are just notoriously fake. You all remember the Logan Paul colorblind video when he pretended he was colorblind and had a big spectacle about how he could finally see colors. Well, yeah, this is probably the same type of thing because if you were in darkness for this long, you would not be able to open your eyes and be able to see this clearly. You would literally be blinded by the light. Girls won't date me because of feminism. Part two out of 19. Yeah, I can totally believe, hands down, it's because of feminism that girls won't date you. I mean, I can barely see it as well, but this video looks like it's 30 minutes long. I am not gonna listen to a 30 minute long video, which is only part two out of 19, on why girls won't date you. I think that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I don't want to push the boat too hard because I have had like a month's break just doing and sorting some stuff in my personal life. But if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed the content. It means a lot to me that you guys still watch the content that I put out. It really does make me happy. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will see you all next time.